Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Thought I'd do something a little bit different. I have recently bought Football Manager 2019 and this is actually my first venture into the Football Management series. I've played a few, like, uh, I've played the FIFA games, but weirdly I always play the FIFA games as a manager because that's just how I like to play. So it makes sense that I should move to the football management series and you know I'm quite happy with it at the moment it's it's uh, it's going well and the game's really good so I'll show you what I've been doing on it this isn't going to be a series or anything it's just just a one off video of me just showing off the game basically um, what I've done is I've made my own team called Billinge FC and we've put them in the Skybet League 1 of the English National League and yeah I've only took over the club was founded 2018 um, I'll show you some of the stuff let's have a look at the history of the club there's no league history club background founded in 2018 Billings FC a professional English club playing in the Sky Bet League One the club played their home games at Edelston Edelston Fields and possess average training facilities and average youth facilities. The club's training ground is Boots and Laces gr training ground. I haven't actually had the chance to name that yet, so I don't know. I, I don't know if that changes at all or anything. The Billing FC youth team play at Boots and Laces training ground. The club also has average junior coaching and an average youth recruitment network. With no real competition history of note, Billing FC are a club with a trophy cabinet waiting to be filled. So that is the club. We've got no rivals as of yet. I've only played the the pre-season and one or two main games of the the league and I think one of the last games we played was the cup game against like a much better team. So we obviously lost that one. <coughs> so we're predicted to finish 15th by the media. I think we can do better than that. Let's have a look what the news is saying. Yeah, Brentford beat Billing FC in thrilling encounter. It was actually 5-1 at one point when we managed to come back towards the end of the game, but we still lost. So yeah, let's have a look at, this is my profile as a manager. The stats are fairly central at the moment. Um, I've not had a chance to, to do any of that. Um, you can actually send myself out on a coaching trip so like this start a coaching course but i think we lose a bit of stats during that so i'm not willing to do that at the moment i can actually go on a holiday i don't know what that would do but you know i'm gonna figure it out i'm gonna find out all of these things i'm currently earning 103,000 per year and i've got a contract until 2019 This is my history as a manager. This is the first season, so there's obviously nothing here. Let's have a look at the squad that we've got. This is our squad, and it's not very good. I think the the value, if I can, can I change the value? Is that possible? I don't think we can. Let's have a look at transfer. There we go, here's the value. So our most valuable player is Will Keane at £1 million in League One. That's not too shabby. And Union O'Kane was is also a decent player. I can't I've got Will Keane at £1 million and I've got him on the bench. Oh my god. Uh oh, we're gonna have to sort this out. If you click on any of these players, you can see the stats from. So let's have a look at the stats for Will Keane. You know, fairly decent. He's got he's on the greens, and he's a deep lying forward. So you know what? I think we're going to have to put him in the squad. I don't know why he's not in the squad. Let's have a look at the tactics. He's not in at all. So let's get him in. Let's. Oh, that's the wrong button. Click on this, and then it shows you. I think he was injured. I think that's why he wasn't selected. But he's definitely going in there. And it's the better thing. Look at that deep line forward. I'm going to stick him on the attack because he's not a support. 
Yeah, we want them attacking. And this shows you how familiar they are with this current tactic. So this is actually the tactics screen. And you can it's quite in depth. You can create your own tactics. You can create as many as you want to these, I think. Um, it shows you the intensity of what they're going to be playing at, which isn't too bad there. And see these like shades of green in the background it shows you where the strengths are on the the pitch so obviously we're strong going forwards but there's a weakness towards the wings that's because these aren't very good in that position um, maybe we can sort that out in the next transfer window because I think it's shut at the moment but yeah if you look at this you can change the mentality so the last game we played against a really good team it was much better than us uh, I think they're in the, the league above us so we had to play defensively but you know, I always go for positive mentality. And as you can see, because we've switched it to positive, it's gone up slightly on the intensity. So what you do with these tactics as well, like you change it for when you're in possession of the ball, in transition, so when you first lose the ball, what, you do, what do you do? And also when you're out of possession. So when we're in possession, we're playing wide. Uh, we're playing down the wings which is actually our weakest point so that might not be a good option but you know we're gonna go with it see how it goes we've actually not been doing too bad on pre-season and stuff so I'll keep it that way and then we're getting early crosses in and we're shooting on sight and hopefully them two two up fronters are gonna finish the ball off I'm actually gonna take this off because um, I don't want to wear these players out because they, they've not got the best stats so we're not going to run at defence anymore. I'm just going to keep it as that. And then in transition, we're counter-pressing. So we want to get the ball back as quickly as possible. All over the pitch. And when we win it, we want to start pushing up the pitch again. When the goalkeeper's got the ball, he's going to distribute it to the full-backs. Just by rolling it out. And then when we're out of possession, we're playing a standard defensive line. And yeah, we can actually tell these to drop back a little bit to sort out the midfield a little bit more. I think that's what we'll do. Defensive width is just standard. So it's quite in depth tactically what you can do. You can change different types of styles as well. So if you look at this, you've got the Geg and Press, which is what we're playing. You've got the Tick Attacker football. You can park the bus like Mourinho. Route 1. All the classics. Yeah, we're just sticking with that one at the moment. Let's have a look at the team report. Shows you our strengths and weaknesses. And it also shows you the squad depth over here. So you can see we're missing a lot of wing backs here. We need to improve that. We've got so many of these in this position. We don't need that many. Maybe I could offload a few of them. But yeah, um, We've got some hot prospects in the youth team. We're decent at short passing. And we've got good attack depth. Weaknesses is goalkeeper depth. We'd probably need to hire another goalkeeper. Uh, I actually changed the transfer budget to zero because our wage budget was quite a lot. So I needed to make up a bit of money by getting rid of the transfer budget. So yeah, there we go. Let's, let's have a look at the squad depth here. Shows you who we've got in what positions and stuff. We need to hire another wing back there on the left hand side. It says we've got three goalies, but as you can see the other two are, are crap, so we probably need to hire one of them. Staff. I've recently put an advert out for this physics guy. The ph physics physio. <laughs> Because we don't have one at the moment and I've recently hired the sports scientist as well so that might be able to get us a few extra points you can delegate responsibilities to the backroom staff so like I'm not one to hire all not hire to uh, work on the, the youth team so I just give that to somebody else let them sort out the youth team and the under 23s and stuff um, yep yeah, but I do want to keep it like a uh, I do want to handle all the transfers for the first team and stuff. I can search for new staff. Uh, I can see if there's any jobs going at other clubs. 
I can also see if anyone's like losing the job a little bit. Insecure finances at Charlton. Training. I've I've let the um, assistant manager sort this out because it looks a bit too detailed for my liking. It shows you the best player that's performing. Well, the player that's performing best in training, which is James Gibbons. 8.25 out of 10 and it shows you the worst Michael Turner and I can actually speak to him if I want to I can speak to any of these players and it has an in impact on it so if I if I go into squad I'll just show you this now what was is Michael Turner wasn't it where's he where's Turner there he is Michael Turner let's have a look this is his player thing he's a no-nonsense centre-back can also play central defender Shows his form and stuff. Shows loads of different stats and stuff. And if I go to interaction, I can advise him. I probably, I can give him a future staff role if I wanted. But I don't think he's up to scratch. I can praise him, or I can warn player. There we go. I can do quite a few stuff. <coughs> can add him to the transfer list I can uh, rip up his contract <laughs> yeah I can send him on coaching course as well uh, what I, I think I might be doing is um, when you get to like an older age how old is he he's 34 so he is pretty old we can uh, send him out on on leadership courses and stuff and coaching courses and then they can become part of the staff uh, medical center uh, we've got a few injuries, but I'm just letting the head of sports science sort this out. You know, the scouting room. We can have a look at what's going on in scouting. Find some good players. Transfers. We've not got any transfers coming in. Let's have a look at the club. This is a kit that I've made for us. I've kept the same design across all three kits, but we just changed the colour. We're predicted to finish 15th by the media. That's the latest news. So as you can see, we got beat by Brentford 5-3. We should have uh, we should have come back a bit more towards the end, I think. Our facilities, stadium name is Edelston in Wigan. I, th um, I think that means we're renting it. I'm not quite sure. It's a 12,163-seater stadium, which isn't too bad. Year built, 1955. It's owned by the club. Stadium condition is average. We've got no under-soil heating. We've got no roof. <laughs> and we're playing on grass. And we're playing the maximum pitch dimensions. Good pitch condition. We've got adequate corporate facilities, average training facilities, poor data analysis facilities. Now, I've actually requested to the board that we improve this, and they agreed. So, hopefully we'll see some improvement there. Youth facilities, average. You know, it's not bad for a League One team. Let's have a look at the board. This shows you job security. And that's the owner, Ron Martin. He's enjoying his role at the club so far. That's the uh, data analysis facilities that I've requested, and it shows you when they're going to be completed. So it's, it's not going to take too long to do that. It's in planning stage at the moment. Finances, difference of, nah, it's only 45,000, but we'll have to try and sort that out somehow. Maybe offload a few players. Confidence. People are uh, happy with my management so far. We've got a good dressing room atmosphere. Let's have a look at that. Dressing room atmosphere, good. People are happy with the manager. We've got two social groups in the team. And let's have a look at that. So the, the captain, which is John White, he's sort of got his own little elite group going. So yeah. They're fairly happy though. They all seem to be happy there. Right, finances. 
I'm gonna have to play a bit more just to to see this because I'm not quite sure like what it means. Let's have a look at salary commitments. Look at the, what these players are on in League One. This is per year. Who's our seven hundred and sixty-one thousand per year? That's outrageous. In League One. <laughs> Oh, that's where the money's going. Sponsors. We've got a few sponsorship deals. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's play a match, shall we? And let's, I'll I'll go through the uh, the game. So th what you do, you just click, keep clicking this continue, and this gives you stuff like um, I'll show you on the next one. So if I go to inbox, it just basically goes through the next day. Um, you you get emails every now and then from people. So I've got an email from our chief data analysis saying um, just basically about Brentford and how they played against us in the last game. And this is how this is our team. So these are the play ratings for our team. The league's actually got a 9.1, which isn't too bad. You got two goals. Uh, this social feed I've set it so it, we only get feed. Like you can set this to all sorts. It's sort of like a like a a Twitter feed but I've set it so that we only get information about Billinge so if there's anything here it's all about Billinge and you get stuff like uh, the Billinge FC supporter spokesperson has shared this out Sonny Bradley is going to be great he was one of the new signings Bradley makes Billinge FC debut So let's keep going. It's now the 17th of August. Keep going. What's the next game? Next game is tomorrow. Billings FC face Bradford City in Sky Bet League One Clash. Let's have a look at our inbox. So this is information about Bradford. He won the last game 1 0 against Barnsley. Um, do you have a successful formation in 5212? Most vulnerable to 4231. Shows a little bit of information about the team. They're on the decent form actually, we've got three wins. Next unread email. This is from the assistant manager. And he's just basically giving us some advice. So he's saying we should play cautious in the next match. Um, but I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna keep it on positive. I don't actually know what this means. I'm going to have to look this up. Five to six defend duties. Sensible for a cautious mentality. I have no idea what that means. I'm go I've been trying to figure it out, but I can't figure it out. If you know, let me know in the comments. Um, team instructions to add drop deeper. Would improve our chances of a result. If I click this button, then it will set the tactics to, to do that. Which I'm going to do. Um, it's just telling me about player fitness concerns. Next email, please. That's just a media atten uh, media article for my attention. We're actually favourites to win this match. I don't know how, but we are. So let's continue. Let's get on to the match. It's just showing me my team. Um, I'm going to let the assistant manager handle the briefing. What, what happens a day before the match is... The, um, you sort of have a, a briefing with your team to go over all the tactics and you can go into it yourself and talk about it and stuff but I'm just going to hand it over to the assistant because we're going to do a, a few team talks before the match as well yeah 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 he's told them I feel we should go with a flexible shape as you're all familiar with it and he's told Dan Scar which is a defender I don't want you shooting on sides in this one that'll be That'll be one for the books. See, it's ask I've already uh, criticised him for his training. I did that before. And I can praise Thomas Holy, the goalkeeper. You said you wanted a word. I wanted to take a moment to tell you that I'm feeling very pre pleased with your recent training performances. Thanks a lot. I appreciate you taking the time to say it. See you later. That actually boosts the, the confidence a little bit when you praise them like that so let's get going right on to the game day Bradford City 
and it takes a little while to, to load up. Next email please. Uh, I forgot to mention actually the music you can hear in the background here is there's no music or sound in this game which I found quite strange so I just put a little background music on it's actually one of my own albums that I wrote it's an album of uh, relaxation music called Atmospheres so yeah have a look for that on Spotify there's a little plug there for my own songs <laughs> um, what else have we got here yeah, it's just telling me about fitness of players, that one. Right, so fixtures in the league today. We're playing Bradford at home. We're favourites to win. We're currently in 8th place. They're in 6th. And they're on excellent form. I don't know how they put us as favourites. Right, this is the team we'll be playing. I'm happy with that. I'm glad we've put Keane in there. He looks a decent player. <laughs> Joe Welsh and Will Keane are lacking in match sharpness. I may struggle to see out the match. You have selected five subs outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Teams are warming up. I like this bit of the the game where you like you, you manage the the players as they play in the game. So let's go to the dressing room. Let's hold the team talk. Let's see what they think the assistant manager has to say. Let the boys go out there with clear minds. We don't need to address anything at this stage. Okay, but I am going to try and, you know, motivate them a little bit. Get out there and impress me. Actually, let's go with that one. I have nothing specific, I can't say that word, to mention right now. Let's get out there and start well. And sometimes you get, like, um, you get reactions from players when you say things. So in the defence, I have faith in you. Get out there and make a difference. See, two of them took that on board. You get a positive reaction. You can also get a negative reaction. And this has an impact on the game as well. I'm going to say the same thing to all of these, I think. Just get out there and make a difference. End team talk. Let's go. Kick off. Right, I've actually put these screens up so I can see quite a few things. We've got the stats here of the game. And like it only shows me the highlights. I've set it just so that it shows me highlights. So we're just flicking through here. We can see the possession along the bottom. We're actually winning possession. And it seems like they're dominating. Oh no, we're dominating midfield now. And here's one of the replays. And it's a goal by us. And it's Michael Turner. Good old Mickey Turner. He's having a decent game by the look of it. 7.4. We should encourage our players to play more direct passing play. Okay, here's another highlight. What's going on here? Come on. Penalty ref. Yes. Come on, who's doing it? Keen, there it is, 2-0. And that is why we're playing in a positive attitude, because we go forward and we get the goals. Let's have a look here, who's playing bad? No one seems to be having a bad game. But they seem to be having a pretty shocking game. This is the body language of our team as well, so we're all looking calm and composed at the moment. That can tell you when the players are having a bad game. Anything that pops up here is basically my advisor. Um, so if he if he suggests something, I just click make changes because he knows what he's doing. We're we are, we're actually winning here. We've got the midfield. We've got the attack. We're taking control of the the pitch. I can shout things to the team as well so I can I'll put no pressure this, this can have a, an impact on the game as well but it can also have a negative impact so we need to watch what we're saying it looks like they've changed their approach and they're going more attacking ok so both teams are playing with 
An attacking mindset. Oh, oh, he's missed. I thought that was him. Right, half time. We are 2 0 up. Best performers Michael Turner for us and Richard O'Donnell for them, which is their goalkeeper. Four shots saved, so we're actually we're peppering their goal at the moment. Dressing room disinterested. Oh, no, he, he took it. That um, shout that I give from the sideline, he seemed to be seemed to be annoyed by it. But the rest look calm and composed. I'm going to do a team talk. You know, let's do a passionate team talk. I'm very happy with the way things are going. Keep it up, lads. Look at that. Extremely delighted. That is giving everyone some motivation let's try and get motivate the attack a little bit more see if we can get some more goals i believe I, you can still improve let's do it hand over to assistant and team talk let's go let's get into it straight out there early oh start second half but it always shows you a bit of the uh, kickoff as well and then it goes to highlights so we're just waiting for another highlight of the game and here we go. It's them coming at us. Oh, we're on a counter. Let's go. Crossing it in. Oh. You can actually adjust the speed of this, so it, it probably is going. Oh, let me just pause that game. Put that on. Looks like they've got a, a free kick just outside the box. Matt speed during highlights. Let's bring this down slightly. So you can watch the game at a proper speed. Oh, we've saved it. We are still in it. We're actually playing a decent game here. 7.2, 7.9. And I'm quite happy with the conditions. It's 70s at the moment, but I think at around 60, 65, we might bring on another player. Ooh, what a save, what a save. If there's a player that's looking more knackered than the others, we've moved it to 50 on the table. Come on, off the post, oh my god. Yeah, we're looking, well, we've got 71 on Khan. Right, let's look at making the sub. So that pauses the game when we click substitution. We're at 70% on this condition. This is condition and match sharpness. So, you know, even though it's looking sharp, Joe Walsh is looking pretty bad on both. I'm going to bring Khan off though because he looks a bit knackered. So let's whack Rothbone on. Any that highlight green when you're, you're dragging like that, that's the one that you can, that's best suited for that position. But he's only 53% match sharp. You know what? I don't know if I could. Can I? I don't think I can do that. Oh, I can do that. I'm gonna bring on Polion. Even though it's a different position, he's got more sharpness, and he's actually been playing decent in pre-season. So that's what we're gonna go with. Joe Walsh is looking a bit knackered in defence. Let's bring on Sonny Bradley. Right, that's two fresh legs, let's go. I don't want to do the third one just in case we get an injury. But hopefully we can hold on to this lead. I'm going to change the mentality to a bit more balanced. And when it gets to about 80 odd, I'm going to bring it down to a bit more cautious. And towards the end, right, let's go a bit more cautious now. Michael Turner is looking exhausted. He is looking exhausted. Look at that, 61. All right, okay, okay, okay. There's the substitution. Let's go. And I'm actually going to play more defensively here. Oh, we can't yet. We need to wait until there's a break in play. Moved up to fourth position on the table. Come on, someone tackle him. Oh! Right, let's play more defensive. Oh, they've got a goal back. No. Oh, that's us. <laughs> I thought that was them for some reason. No, we go 3-0 up. Who scored that one? 
Wilkie. Wilkie or Sonny Bradley, I think it was. Right, there's three extra minutes on. There's eight seconds left to play. Can we get another goal or is this the final whistle? Final whistle, 3-0. And that is how you play it. Let's go into the dressing room. Look at them stats. The ratings are decent. Oh, that's for them. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. That's us. That's a good game, that Will Keane, star player. Dominated possession. We had more shots, more shots on target. That is a good game, that. Dominic Pollyon struggled to perform when he came on. You know, he's out of position, I'm not surprised there, but, you know, we still won the game. Yep, I'm happy, I'm happy. Look at that. All delighted. Let's go. Clean sheet achievement. Let's have a look at our inbox. Hang on, let's let's go back. We've moved up to fourth place. So played three, one, two, drawn one. So not doing too bad. Considering the media picks us to finish fifteenth. Keane makes Billings FC debut. Will Keane had a debut to remember by scoring in Billings FC's convincing 3-0 Skybet League 1 victory over Bradford City. Next email. Keane impresses for Billings. 96% pass completion. Yeah, I'm going to praise Keane's performance for that one. You were superb in front of goal last time out. Keep it up. Next email, roundup of League One. Let's have a look at the social feed. What are the fans saying about this? Congratulations to Will Keane on making his Billings FC debut. A fine performance it was too. What a player Keane looks. Let's not go overboard on Keane, please. <laughs> There's always one, isn't there? There's always one. Keane was good, question mark. Can't see it myself. Are you blind? You must be blind. Yeah, so there you go. That's pretty much this game. This is what I've been doing for the last few days. It's a it's a decent game. Really in depth. There's so much detail. Like all of these uh, players, you can you can get to know, and like you start you start like having in-game relationships with them. Like not, I don't mean that stupidly, obviously, but like your your management has like a relationship with them and you have to maintain it you have to you have to speak to them you have to praise them it's like um i don't know it's, it's good it's like a, like man management sort of tactics so there you go decent game i got it on offer as well so it was about 39 quid to buy and i got it for 28 quid on the steam store Go and check it out if you're interested. Anyway, let me know if you want to see any more of these types of videos. Let me know if you want to see what Billing you're up to. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.